Okay? So let us... So, what are chakras, the faculties of the spirit? You know, the spiritual vehicles of man. This is from a book called Laya Yoga. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. But at the very top, is the laser pointer in this? Is the laser pointer in this? Okay, all right. At the very top, it looks like a rainbow up there. That's the Sahasrara Chakra, which according to the system is located outside. Most of the chakras are said to be inside the body, right? So Sahasra is above the body. Okay, Sahasra is a chakra with a thousand forces, awakened forces, right? That's where when you awaken a force, you know, in other words, your chakra system includes 14 chakras, you know, that, you know, uh, you, you, you know, have 50, okay? 50 single units of power called bijas, okay? And each power in a seed mantra, a bija, okay, is protected by an evil. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, this here, that's the Sahasrara chakra there, right? And it's a thousand units of power. So it stores the powers that you have awakened and purified, right? When I chant a seed, one of the 50 seed mantras, which correspond, hey, any Kabbalists here, Sulus Kabbalah? No? You got to, excuse me, let me say something, right, folks, right? If you want to know religion, your religion, you have to study religions, just not yours, please, right? Or the Chinese says, a man of wisdom does not eat at home. He goes to have dinner in distant places. Okay. In the Kabbalah, there are 50 gates of power and of knowledge. Kali wears a skull of 50 skulls, a necklace of 50 skulls around her neck. The skulls are the 50 human traits that have been risen above, right? Because you're not a human being, right? You're a divine being, remember that, right? If you come to yoga or spirituality to become a better human being, you're doing the wrong thing. You can't put the human behind because that's the source of your problem. You're a divine being. Take no prisoners. So Sahasara has 50. In Chinese medicine, there's a a uh, point on the top of the crown center called the Bahui, a place of a thousand meetings. That's where all 50 units of powers, awakening of powers, meet and unified. When Yosahasara is fully, is filled with the 50 gates of wisdom and power, then and only then you're a functional divine being. You have realized your potential. That's your goal in Kundalini Yoga. Right underneath that, over here, is the Guru Chakra. Huh? The Guru Chakra is the teacher. The Guru is the teacher. But that teacher is God. You have a chakra that allows God to talk to you, to guide you. Because eventually, that's the teacher you want. You want to share in God's omniscience, God's knowledge of everything. That Guru Chakra is one of, the 14, one of the 14 chakras that were left out, one of the seven chakras that were left out. Don't forget that the system that you are taught only has seven chakras. Let's, let's look at it first, right? Those seven chakras are the Sahasrara, okay, oops, I keep. Hmm. 
This is okay. Uh, there you go, right? The seven chakras incorrect system is the Hasvara, Ajnya, okay, around here, and it lines up with the um, sp space by the between the eyebrows, right? This is called third eye, which is not it's not a third eye. That's two. Okay, that's two chakras. The third one is Vishuddha, the throat, then Anahata, the heart, then Manipura, the solar plexus the navel, then Swastisthana, the sex wall, and then Muladhara, the root point. Right? So these are the seven chakras of the flawed system. The other seven chakras are Guru, right here, Visarga, Nirvana, Indu, Okay, Manas, Talu, and Herit. These are the seven chakras that were left out. A good book on the flawed system will mention some of these chakras and tell you that they're minor chakras. Why they aren't really given much space and time. And when you get into what they really are, you will find that they are not minor chakras. As a matter of fact, they are the major chakras. You see that? They left out Guru, right? Guru is a chakra that, when fully awakened, will enable you to get guidance from God. Okay? The word Kabbalah comes from the, word, the Hebrew word, the cannot verb Kabbal. And the hieroglyph of the Hebrew word Kabbal is the hand open in the sign of receiving you know, guidance from God. Because, you see, spiritual knowledge and power can only come from God. Cannot come, a man cannot give it to you. Only God can. All a man can tell you is to teach you how to go to God. Okay? And any man that wants to argue with that, you know, has a problem of hubris. So I hope he can get better wings than a set of wax wings. <laughs> <laughs> 